Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna to be checking out a cool little technique to help you cut faster when you are working with videos. Today's sponsor is brought to you by PhotoFire's Slideshow Maker. This enables you to create slideshows with photos and videos in three simple steps. All you have to do is import your footage and then select a theme. PhotoFire has a ton of different themes that you can browse through as well as music options. So find what fits your needs. You can personalize your slideshow and customize it to your liking. All you have to do next is save and share your video with one click and you are done. Photo Fire Slideshow Maker. To get started, let's go to the Edit tab and go down to Keyboard Shortcuts. Check out the Q and the W key. If anything looks off, just make sure the keyboard layout is Adobe Premiere Pro default. And under the Q key, you'll see that there's something called Ripple Trim Previous Edit to Playhead. And what this does is when you hit the Q key, anything before the playhead will be deleted on that selected video layer. Let's go back to the keyboard shortcuts and check out the W key. As you'll see, there is something called the ripple trim next edit to playhead. This will do the exact opposite as Q. It will delete everything after your playhead. So for example, it'll delete all of this clip and bring everything back. Why is this important? Well, typically when you would want to make a cut, you would hit C on the keyboard and then you'd scroll to wherever you want and then you'd hit C again. You delete that clip and then you'd have to spend time dragging your clips back or you'd have to like scroll out and highlight all of them and sometimes deselect the ones and then drag all those back. And while that works, there are other ways of doing it. I found that the Q and W works the best. So let's show you how to use this in action. As you can see, this clip right here has a really jittery start. What I want to do is delete the entire first half. Instead of hitting C on my keyboard, all I'm going to do is click Q. Since I click Q, it deleted the entire first half and I only want to go to there. So let's click W. This works best when you are using speeches and stuff and you're trying to cut things out. For example, let's cut the beginning and let's scroll to where we want it to finish that looks good right there and let's see I'm ripping something off so I don't need any of this beginning stuff hit Q at the beginning and go to where I want a little bit of the footage and hit W and that'll delete everything else so now we have this small clip using these two keyboard shortcuts will help you so much when you are editing let me show you one more little technique with this clip right here. So say I wanted to delete the entire middle section of this clip. What I would do is go to the beginning, I would hit C on the keyboard, and then scroll to the point that I want to pick the clip back up. I'm gonna click Q because that will delete everything before the playhead right here. As you just saw, I deleted all of that middle section and brought my ending clip back. You can do it the opposite way as well. So say I put a cut right there and I want to delete the back half of this clip, then I would hit W because that will delete the entire back half of the clip. All you need to know is that when you hit Q, it'll delete everything before the playhead on that selected video. And when you hit W, it'll delete everything after the playhead. Well, I hope you guys found this technique super helpful and I can't wait to see you guys use this in your projects. Be sure to click that thumbs up and subscribe because I'm going to be making some more stuff in the future. I'll see you next time.